My name is Ben James and I'm the founder of Stones Throw Hash. We have launched in May and sold over 7,000 hashes uh, through first week in March. And we started with farmer's markets in May and expanded with the purchase of our food truck in September, expanded further into coffee shops like Milk and Honey Market and Station North, and Three Bean Coffee in Federal Hill, and even launched a grab and go option at Clipper City CrossFit. Our products are earning a very healthy gross margin as well at 59% year to date. We join Union Kitchen's Accelerator Program. We'll be on their grocery shelves in the summer in Washington in DC, as well as locally in Baltimore, places like Eddie's of Roland Park. We will also grow our coffee shop distribution across the same area, bringing our projected revenue in 2021 to over $600,000. Hi, I'm Maria, co-founder and CEO of Tomana. Tomana makes life easier for pet owners by matching them with trusted neighbors who are willing to swap pet sitting. 68% of households in America, that's 84 million homes, have pets. We estimate that 60.1 million of these households fall into our market, creating a $6 billion total addressable market at a $100 annual membership fee. Our adoption strategy is a combination of partnerships with apartment buildings, hosting yappy hours at local dog-friendly breweries, social media marketing, and organic growth in local coffee shops and pet stores. Just with our beta test alone, we have saved our members over $5,400 and we've provided 168 days of pet care. One of the main reasons Tomana was built is because we recognize that money is tight and our focus is to build a safety net and community for members and provide an affordable option for people who love their pets and are willing to help someone else. We believe that now more than ever, people will be conscious of their spending. The time is right for Tomana to take off. Hey, I'm Laquita Chansey, the founder and director of Small Tomorrow Homes, and I'm super excited to have just participated in the Loyola Baltimore Accelerator. Small Tomorrow Homes is an affordable housing nonprofit, and we build micro shelters and tiny homes for people who are experiencing homelessness. Our organization is definitely a social impact business that looks at resolving a housing crisis through an equity lens. We've made significant progress by hosting over 500 volunteers. We've also have a list of at least 100 people interested in sleeping or experiencing our small to more tiny home. And we've made several partnerships throughout Baltimore. We build at the Community Tool Bank. Team Depot has sponsored 12 shelters. U-Haul has given us a grant for truck rentals. And we've spoken to Healthcare Access Maryland about providing wraparound services for our target population. Hi, I'm Eric Warner, founder of Style Trail. The global beauty industry is expected to grow from $433 billion to $750 billion by 2024. There are approximately 2.7 million beauty establishments worldwide with at least two unoccupied workstations. Our goal is to obtain 1.1 million total bookings by year five. My 10 years of industry experience has helped me to create the user experience design of the Style Trail platform. I am a design educator, interaction designer, and I've designed for companies such as the Philadelphia Eagles, University of Miami, and T. Rowe Price. Hi. My name is Adil Afshar, and I'm the co-founder and chief operating officer of Halal Beauty Cosmetics. In the short year that we've been operating, we've generated over $10,000 in sales, and we've amassed thousands of fans from all around the world. Now, how do we do it? Well, throughout the Loyola Baltrepreneurs program, we've been fortunate to have support on every piece of our go-to-market strategy. For example, we're currently working with the Loyola Consulting Group to help bolster our online e-commerce traffic through advanced search engine optimization. And working with my mentor, Mick, we've developed a plan to increase our retail sales by partnering with local mosques. Hi, and welcome to Explore. My name is Hervé Franceschi. I'm one of the founders of Explore. We are a gig economy startup. Uh, in a way similar to Airbnb, but for food. We're charging a 13% service key to guests. Um, there is no there's no fee for the host. Uh, 3% of those 13% are going towards uh, processing credit cards and we're using Stripe for that. So that yields a net percent, a 10% net fee for us. We have a search engine for guests to look for hosts. It's all based on, on, on location and, and we're currently um, adding features to, to refine the search 
based on, on food, uh, food specialty. Hello, my name is McKenna Morris and I am the owner and sole proprietor of McKenna's Cupcakes. I am the team behind the business and specialize in making mini cupcakes from scratch using only the finest ingredients. I am working on finalizing the quarterly package and will market this on the parents' Facebook page as well as meet with the department that markets the treat packages at Loyola to see if they would offer my services as an option. I will continue to advertise to my target market audience on social media and provide on-demand options to the broader community. Since I have been accepted into the Accelerator program, my business has flourished. I have been interviewed by journalists and was featured on Loyola's main social media page. I created an Instagram account and established a social media presence within the Loyola community. I held a very successful promotional event outside of the school's dining hall and increased my brand recognition on campus. In between all of this, I have been fulfilling and delivering different orders around campus. Hi. My name is Millen, and I'm one of the co-founders of Benagraft. We plan to competitively price our device at $150. The time search and save using the Benagraft Dicer will save nearly $1,200 per procedure. That can save hospitals $851,000 annually. We have estimated our total market size to be approximately $100 million. In order to reach this market, we are adopting an indirect sales strategy. Our primary customers and end users are hospitals and private practices. However, as a small venture, we are aware that branching out and establishing relationships with hospitals will be very challenging and inefficient. So our goal is to license our device to distributors such as CardioMed and Black and Black Surgical who already have access to a big network of hospitals. This would allow us to sell our device to hospitals through distributors who already have those connections.